Welcome back to the program. You're watching Global Business Africa. Now, South Africa's Treasury is in talks with banks owned millions of dollars by the country's carrier, SAA. The government wants the banks to roll over some uh, 9 billion rand debt, just about 700 or so million dollars worth, that the South African uh, company owes to these banks, about six or seven as we know right at the moment. Now, currently the carrier relies on government guarantees of nearly $7 billion to keep running. Its financial woes have been cited as a threat to the South African economy as a whole. The Treasury Director General, Dondo Mogajane, has said that if South African Airways fails to meet its debt obligations, it may have a ripple effect on the government's guarantee framework as a whole. Standard Chartered Bank, among banks owed by the carriers, claimed to have declined to renew loan facilities to the airline. That last part comes in courtesy of the DA. Right then, let's get the latest details on this particular story. Angelo Coppola has more data on this story. He joins us now live uh, from Johannesburg. Um, Angelo, this is a bit of a hard ask, uh, rolling over 9 billion rand of debt. What sort of terms is the Treasury proposing to these six or seven banks that lent that money? Well, Raman, Treasury doesn't really have any kind of negotiating position at the moment, and it certainly can't propose any terms. It's negotiating from a position of weakness, and that's because of the credit downgrades in the country that we've uh, experienced in the last two months. And the banks have their own obligations and their own risk committees are sitting in on those meetings and having those discussions, and they're very likely imposing penalty clauses like Standard Charter did, and also looking at interest rate charges because uh, debt's becoming more expensive. The, um, they'll eventually agree, but it's going to cost the government and indirectly, of course, the taxpayers a pretty penny more, and all for the sake of having an inefficiently run, essentially bankrupt national carrier in the air, Raman. Indeed, but of course, the, it does sound, at least at face value, by rolling over the debt, the Treasury is trying to have its cake and eat it at the same time, because this allows it to not have those state guarantees actually called on, and it kicks the debt problem down the road. Am I reading this right? You're spot on, Raman. Um, some analysts are suggesting that it's an extremely um, short-sighted view. It's a delaying tactic, but it's de delaying the inevitable. Um, the, the issue really is Treasury is hoping that with the current chair soon to be out of her, uh, on her way out, that the new board can then adopt a turnaround plan and implement it. Treasury is under huge pressure here to find a solution, and this would give him a little bit of breathing space. The situation at SAA seems untenable between the chair and the, and the new board. There was talk that some SAA board members actually boycotted a portfolio committee meeting on the SAA performance in Parliament today because of the presence of the outgoing chair, which points to a deeper short-term problem. Hopefully it can be resolved quite soon though, Roman. Indeed, uh, the carrier's uh, CFO, he said the firm is considering the PIC, the Public Investment Corporation, as a future lender. But if, if we put ourselves in the shoes of the PIC's uh, CEO, for argument's sake, why would we want to risk pensioners' money in a poorly run state carrier? Well, it's understood that SAA management actually did have a meeting with the due diligence committee at the PIC as recently as Friday to look at funding. You'll know that funding a state-run airline is not something that any asset manager in their right mind would consider. But the PIC is a state-controlled asset manager, and it has a slightly different social mandate in some respects in some of its funds. So it's probably doesn't have a choice. The government's probably putting pressure on them to have a discussion. We know that the PIC is looking at two areas where there, are, there is some money lying around, that's the unemployment fund and one other fund, the compensation fund. So it looks like it's probably going to happen as a last resort, but the PIC, or should I say Treasury officials, did say that it was an option, not the option. Roman? Indeed, we'll leave it there for the time being. Certainly an interesting case of having one's cake and eating it. We'll leave it there for the time being. That's Angela Coppola, of course, live in Johannesburg.